Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing my right hand again. I really wanted to try the press on nails, so here we are. I went ahead and took off my last set. So we're working on bare nails, and I'm just starting off by prepping my natural nail. I'm taking my Kiara Sky e-file with a mandrel bit and sanding band from Profiles Backstage. I have my speed at 4,000 RPMs, and I'm just carefully buffing the shine away, going around that cuticle as best as possible, but I'm focusing on just buffing that shine off and etching the natural nail so that everything sticks to it very well. Now here you see me just grabbing my little container. I actually keep my sanding bands in this container and I use it to assist myself when working with my non-dominant hand. It gets really, really complicated and in order to stabilize my hand so that it's not going all over the place, I just go ahead and set it on there. It's like the perfect height and the perfect position so that I still stay in frame and you guys kind of get to see exactly how I do it. Otherwise, I used to actually either put my hand on like my knee or on the side of my table, that helps as well. So it kind of just depends on how you want to stabilize your hand, but it definitely helps a lot when working with your non-dominant hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish buffing off that shine and we're gonna get into the cuticle area. Once we're done buffing off that shine, I'm going in with this needle bit. I believe this one is from Profiles Backstage. I usually just grab whichever one is there, and this one happened to be there. I absolutely love it as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Like I said, it's from Profiles Backstage. It's a little bit thicker than the one that I'm used to using from Amazon, but it works just as great. So I'm just going around that cuticle area, still at a speed of 4,000 RPMs on my e-file, very, very carefully, and I'm just kind of going in one direction to avoid any mishaps from happening. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that. Now we're taking a cuticle ball bit. This one is from Amazon, linked in my Amazon storefront. And I'm just going in on my natural nail lies. I'm going in on my cuticle area and buffing off that excess dead skin. And just very, very carefully, I move it up to a speed of 5,000 RPMs with very light pressure when doing this process. Because I had done my nail so recently, I don't have a lot of buildup there. So it's nothing too crazy when it comes to buffing off that dead skin. Now very, very quickly with the lint-free wipe from Kiara Sky and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, I'm just cleaning the surface of my nail and dehydrating it all at once using that swipe. And I'm gonna be using the Press It Kit products from Not Polish. It comes with the Bonder, Press It Gel, Gloss It, and Matte It, which I absolutely love that they include both of their top coats because I love both of them so, so much. So I am starting off with the Triple X Bond, which is their primer. It is my favorite. I use it for any type of extension. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on all of my natural nails. Just on my natural nail, you wanna make sure you're not getting that on your skin. Very, very carefully, just one coat for this specific set that we're gonna be creating. Now I am really excited that I found this in my kit because I was running out and I was not looking forward to waiting for it to get to me. So glad I found it in my stash. I'm going in now with the Press It Gel and I'm just going to be lightly adding a very thin coat of that on the entire surface of my natural nail. I'm being very, very careful with this. I don't wanna get it on my skin or anything like that and just really focus on the natural nail very thin layer you do not need a lot of this on your natural nail this is just going to work as a base coat for that tip so again stabilizing my hand on my little container and i'm just going in thin layer then we're going to be popping that into the light for one minute let that cure one minute and then we're going to go on to applying our tips
Now for today's video, we're gonna be testing out some new Amazon finds and I figured I would do them in today's video so that I can share all my thoughts on these new products that I got my hands on. So first we have this little LED UV light. This is gonna help us cure our tips very easily. It has a nice little clamp, so I just clamped that on my light. You can also do it on the side of a table or whatever, but because I needed it to be in frame, that was the best position that I was able to get. I will let you guys know the rest of my thoughts on that while I'm using it. Now, I also purchased these tips off of Amazon and you guys, they are freaking long. I did not think they were gonna be this long, but I'm actually really excited to be using them because I'm able to trim them down to the length of my other hand. And you guys know my nails are already freaking long, so it goes to show how long these tips really are. I was also very amazed at the quality of these tips. Typically when you have a thick tip like this, if you go to trim it with any type of uh, nail tip cutters or scissors, they will crack and these did not crack, which I was very, very surprised and very pleased to see. So what I'm doing is just measuring it to my natural nail and then I'm comparing it to my left hand so that I get the same length and my nails look just like the ones on my left hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I would definitely suggest you guys do this process before you guys go in with your application process. I unfortunately forgot that I even had to measure them on my nails and cut them. So here we are <laughs> after we added our base gel. I'm, I swear, I did it all backwards, but it's totally fine. I did not mess that up since it's already cured. We're good to go. So I'm gonna finish measuring out those to my natural nail, and then once we're done, we're gonna be filing them if they need to be filed at all. Now when working with any kind of these tips, you want to make sure that you file the shine off of the back end, whichever area is going to be attached to your natural nail. Otherwise, they're just gonna pop right off and I'm telling you this from my personal experience. So to do that, I am taking the tapered diamond bit from Kiara Sky, it's their new one, and I'm taking that because it's nice and thin so it's gonna fit in the inside of every single tip that I'm using. If you try to use a mandrel bit, once you get to the pinky, more than likely it's gonna be too wide and it's not gonna fit inside for you to comfortably file it. So I'm just being on the safe side and using a thinner one and this one is perfect for that. I do have the speed of my e-file at about 7,000 RPMs and I'm just very, very carefully filing, like I said, the underneath of that area where my natural nail is going to be. And then I'm flipping it over and kind of just blending out that end to make sure that it's nice and flush to my natural nail once I apply it. So it's gonna be nice and thin, nice and flush, and it is going to kind of just flow seamlessly and you're not even gonna be able to notice that it is a press on nail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that on the rest of them and then we are going to be filing very, very lightly the back end to whichever ones that I need when it comes to fitting my natural nail perfectly. Now when it comes to my cuticle area, basically most of my nails are nice and round, except for my thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and tweak it a little bit with my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick hand file. And I'm just squaring that off very, very gently and very lightly around that cuticle area because I want it to sit nice and flush to my natural nail. So I'm kind of going little by little with very light pressure and then I compare it again to my natural nail. And then if it needs a little bit more filing, I go ahead and do that until I am content with that shape. Now that we're all done, we're gonna go ahead and start the application process. And I'm taking the Press It Gel from Not Polish, applying that fully on the back end of that tip. And then I'm adding a good bit of that product and just dabbing it on the back end of that tip. Now, I will say I struggled a little bit with this light. I felt like it needed to be, you know, kind of motion detection. If I put my finger under there, it's gonna turn on, but that is not how it works. So I kind of just put it under there and I was like, how am I gonna turn this light on? So I'm not even gonna lie, I struggled a little bit. I was terrified that I was gonna get the gel everywhere, but then I went ahead and just swiped it off 
and then we're gonna do the process again once I collected my thoughts and I was like okay I need to turn it on before so I was like I'll just put the little controller underneath my hand I'll press it with my hand once I'm ready for it to cure it was so hard you guys I'm not even gonna lie so I'm applying my tip again and then I, I struggled I struggled a good bit to push that while I was holding it like to stabilize that nail while I was pushing down it was just chaotic so then next tip I was like you know what I'm just gonna leave it on put the tip on away from the light and then slide it underneath that process was so much easier I don't know why I complicated my life so much trying to do it any other different way but you do want to be careful and not have any type of gel products underneath that light or otherwise it will cure it so just make sure all of your stuff is away from that light so surprise surprise I actually bought two of these lights <laughs> and I got two different ones to kind of test them out for you guys so you guys can pick and choose which one you guys prefer they both are really good quality the difference is one has a clamp and it's black and then we have this one that's white but it has a little lamp stand so it just kind of sits wherever you want it, it to be um, the extension of the black one is a little bit longer than this one so that's kind of just the difference they both come with usb cords so i just went ahead and plugged it in my plug and they worked really well i was definitely happy that they didn't have batteries because that's always a pain in the butt if they run out of battery in the middle of a service that is a no-no so as far as the turning on turning off goes this one has it on the base of that lamp which makes it a little bit harder but like i said i just went ahead and turned it on um, preference wise I definitely like the black one better I like that it has a clamp I feel like it's sturdier and if I knock this one over it's gonna go you know tip over versus the black one just stays wherever you place it so I went ahead and used it for the other nails as well again we're applying that gel on the back and then adding a good bit of it to act as our bonder and then applying it very very carefully i push it in the cuticle area and then i press down towards the rest of the nail and it just glides across that nail and you can freeze it in place with that light definitely neat and i am glad that i purchased these because it's going to make this application process so much easier it makes things not as stressful when I tell you with the other lights I struggled and it honestly took me just as long to do those kind of tips as it does acrylic. I just felt like it was not, it was not for me. But now that I have these little lights, 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm so excited to be doing more of these kind of nails. So we're just going to go ahead and freeze them in place. Once they are frozen and stuck to my nail, I do go ahead and place it in my Kiara Skylight for a full minute just to make sure that everything is fully cured. Because I'm just flash curing that, I want to make sure everything is fully cured. Now once we're done applying those, I'm taking the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file, my go-to hand files, and we're just going to be shaping these out a little bit. Some of the tips to my liking were a little bit on the thick side, so I'm just tapering them in very, very lightly. And I'm basically doing it on the thumb and specifically more that middle finger as well. And then of course I'm gonna be squaring off the tip of all of the nails to make sure that that shape is nice and perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Now taking that tapered medium grit diamond bit from Kiara Sky, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that tip is nice and flush to my natural nail. I'm not doing too much filing. I honestly have it at a speed probably of 7,000 RPMs and I'm just very carefully, what I'm focusing on more is if I have any gel that kind of spilled out. I wanna make sure that I'm removing that so that it's not all chunky and gross looking around the cuticle area. But because I pre-file those tips so that they go on nice and flush, I don't have to do too much filing at this point. Otherwise, I probably would. So I'm just gonna go in again, like I said, very lightly and trying to remove any excess gel that may have spilled. I'm going in with the Kiara Sky Buffer and I'm just gently buffing the surface of my nail. I wanna make sure that it is nice and smooth and nicely etched so that the gel polish adheres very well to that tip. Now, when it comes to the design, I kind of was going to try to match a nude color to my other hand so that my nails didn't clash too much. And then I was like, you know what, who cares? So here we are using the So Jelly Polish from Profiles Backstage in the color white. It's a really perfect milky white. So if you're looking for a really good milky white gel polish, this is it, do it. It is perfect, I absolutely love it. The consistency is perfect as well. So I'm just adding a thin layer of that on all of my nails. I'm starting off with my thumb and you can always go in with multiple coats, but for the purpose of the milky white look, I would just do one like I did in today's video. I'm just adding one thin coat and then curing that in the light and then we're gonna go in with our design. I really, really like this color and I'm definitely glad that I went with this instead of nude, something a little bit different than you guys are used to seeing on my own nails. So again, very carefully around that cuticle area and then just wiping it across the entire surface of that nail. And of course, we're gonna be placing that in the light so that they fully cure. I went ahead and did the 90 second option on the Kiara Sky Light. Now, as far as our design goes, I figured I would do some spring pastel flowers. I typically do a pastel flower set during this time every year. So this was not gonna be the exception. So we're going in with the all new pastel gel liners from Profiles Backstage. I'm so excited and I was super happy that I received these because the colors are so perfect, super, super pretty, extremely opaque and the consistency is just so, so perfect. Now, I personally do not like using the striper brushes that come with these polishes from any brand. I just don't like using them. Um, because the handle is so short, I prefer to use a nail art brush. So I'm just taking a little bit of each of these colors and you can pause them to see the names, but they're all basically like pastel pink, pastel blue, pastel green, etc. And I'm just taking a good amount of that out of the bottle and placing it on my little tile 
for easy access so I can go ahead and easily apply that on my nails. Now when it comes to profiles backstage, I talk about them all the time. I rave about them. Their products really, really are good and they are extremely inexpensive. I just love them all around. I know a lot of you guys have tried purchasing products from their website and unfortunately it does say that you need to have a license, but I'm here to tell you that you do not need to enter a number in that spot. So just create an account, skip the portion where it says enter your license number and you will be good to go. You can start shopping and you will not regret it. Trust me, their products are really amazing. So I'm actually taking the yellow from the frosting gel paints as well and we're gonna be using that as the center for our flowers. I figured it would give a nice little contrast and I love this color yellow. So I'm starting off by just randomly dotting some yellow dots on whatever area that I'm gonna be drawing flowers on. And for this specific design, I figured I would kind of mix it and change it out throughout each nail. So for the thumb, we're starting off and just doing it kind of off on the corner. And then the index finger as well, I'm doing it at the tip on the corner. And then you'll see me change that position throughout the different nails. So I'm just curing that in the light so that I can go in and draw my petals very easily. And I forgot to put the pastel green, so I'm just adding that very quickly. So we're gonna start off by using my favorite nail art brush from McCart. These are linked in my Amazon storefront. It is my favorite, it comes in a pack of three, but I personally like using the white one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that for all of my little petals. And I'm just taking a little bit of whatever color that I choose and I'm kind of just changing it out throughout each nail as well. And I'm just doing little lines for my petals, nothing crazy, little daisy type of petals, super, super simple. This is like the easiest flower design that anybody can create very effortlessly, so highly recommend. I feel like they just look so cute no matter how you draw them on there and you will not regret it. It's super, super easy to achieve and super springy vibes, so. Like I said, we're gonna be changing out the colors. I've had questions a lot on how I clean my brush and I honestly just put it in between a paper towel and wipe it. I don't even use any type of alcohol or anything like that. I just put it in a dry paper towel and wipe it off. The leftover color on my brush when I do that is so minimal that I can just go in with the next color and pretend like I didn't have it dirty so I just go in and dip it into my next color for this one I'm gonna be using the bright pink one and again daisy little petals super super easy I'm just making sure that I'm moving my hand to the position that's gonna help me apply those petals a lot easier and that's basically it we're gonna be repeating that on the rest of the nails super super simple i'm just alternating from colors just depending on whatever i feel like adding on that nail and i absolutely love how these turned out so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching that and hopefully you guys try this out tag me on instagram and i will be sure to share that on my page
Once we are done drawing our little flowers and everything is nice and cured, I'm gonna go in with my top coat. This is the stain resistant top coat from Young Nails. And the reason why I'm using this is because my hair is colored and I do not want them to get stained at all whatsoever. When using darker colors on your nails, it's not as serious, but because these are super light, super pastel, and of course I have that milky white, I wanna protect it as best as possible. So Young Nails Stain Resistant Top Coat is gonna be the best option for that. It is so good, I absolutely love it. I'm just adding a thin layer of that on the entire surface of each nail and making sure that I'm really getting it into that nail art so that it is fully, fully covered. Once we're done, we're gonna be placing it in our light. Again, like I said, I like to use the 90 second option on the Kiara Sky LED light. Once we are fully cured and out of the light, I am going to be removing that tacky layer with the lint-free wipe from Kiara Sky and some Young Nail Swipe. Just rubbing that all the way off. That's the only downside, but I absolutely love it otherwise. And then I'm going in with my favorite cuticle oil from Profiles Backstage and really lathering that on to my cuticle area. And then I go ahead and massage it all the way in, especially on my knuckles if they are nice and dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that, rub it in. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.